back to the magic number video number 51 okay so our only job left is Jimmy unless Packy comes with our last Gracie related mission hey everybody stop panicking alright let's go see if Jimmy will allow us not to be business suit Nico Thanks for stopping, Taxi. I still can't get over that glitch from video number 24 where Nico went to the front seat to steal the taxi and then he, son then he went to the back of the taxi to get in. I can't believe the cops came after me for that. Every other occasion that happened, they didn't come. Oh, it looks like the final Gracie mission's taking place right now taxi you want to come back I don't want to go to Jimmy right now uh, what's the point hey there's another one stop thank you let's go do Jerry's last mission Okay. Hi, cop. Hi, cop. She's a keeper. No, she ain't. She's nasty. Oh, yeah, a little trivia fact. You view this mission from Luis's point of view in Bow to Gay Tony. Luis has to drive away with Gay Tony and Gracie, but... Um, you can actually get off the boat and go back to the firefight that Nico and Packy end up having. You can actually fight and actually kill Nico and Packy. I mean, granted, it's pretty hard to do because they have colossal amounts of health. And I mean colossal. Like, Nico can get caught in an explosion and he, and, like, at point blank range and he will survive. So if you plan to take on the challenge um, of trying to kill them, you need to come with a sniper rifle and shotgun with explosive rounds. And then just gun them down. Once they drop their equipped weapons, then you know that you beat them. Nico's easier to take down because he's like on the outskirts while Packy's in the middle of the action. And plus, you will attract the cops a lot while trying to take them down, so you need to make sure to have a uh, wanted level down sheet handy. So we're stuffing Gracie in the trunk, apparently. Or are we? Would she suffocate in there? Oh, I know what we're doing. We're not doing the exchange. Instead, we're moving Gracie to a new safe house. Because the... Gracie's family because um, Gracie's family found out where she was so we have to move her to a new safe house we have to be careful with the car or we can kill Great. wow even she's even she says she's suffocating how could she breathe back there in the trunk I mean, we can fire at them, and it's not going to attract the cops, which will further complicate things. Sorry, guys. We're keeping this bitch. Yeah, you tell him, Nico. Well, tell him, Nico. Uh, of course, I left the radio station, and of course, I'm laying there and... I'm letting Gracie get killed, and I'm letting the... No, 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 don't hit the cops! No! 
drive. Just drive. I love how the cops come after you and try to arrest you just simply for touching their car. I mean, granted, if you crash, it's just, this is a Navy GM moment. If you're moving like 200 miles an hour and crash into them, that's understandable. Of course they find you, but the fact that you've just touched their car and they come to arrest you, it makes no sense. Plenty of the reasons why the cops try to arrest you make no sense. Are they all are they all corrupt? Like that assistant principal I mentioned in video number I forget the number, but all right, all right, back to the safe house. Now take the girls to the safe house. I like how that to give me like the gaze reaction. Hey, take take Gracie to to a new safe house. Watch out for the enchiladas. Lose your wine level from the cops. Okay, good. You lost your level one level from the cops. Now take the girls to the safe house. Now <laughs> I don't know if you understood any of that, but. Oh yeah, speaking of which, um, I entered a poetry contest. I think I wrote a good poem, I forget what it was, but... The winner of the poetry contest didn't win because she told a good poem. She won because she was shy and didn't want to share the poem. Like, literally. Like, she was shy, she didn't want to share the poem. And then the whole audience is encouraging her. Then when she finally summed up the courage to tell the poem, she said it so fast and unintelligible, I do not even know what her poem was about. No, literally. It was like... I felt the My mom... I felt... I hugged and cried my mom so bad. That's literally what... That's literally how I heard it. <gasps> oh, well, she's trying to kick us and Paggy's like she should just stay in there. <laughs> wow. How are they going to contain the beast inside this beauty? Huh? Oh, we got our jury mission, eh? Whoa, but that was nearly suicidal. That's a unique animation of that guy. Why is he suddenly stopped? Alright. Hold up, Jimmy. I want to see what Jerry's up to. Down with Jimmy. Down with Jimmy. Down with Jimmy. I want to see Jerry. Down, down with Jimmy. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Ah, oh, this is the one where we do the exchange. But going back to the poetry thing, isn't it a little unfair that people who write very experienced poetry, I mean granted mine was not grade A material, it was not, but it was still good. Because the teacher asked me upon writing the poem to enter the contest, the poetry contest. She asked me to enter. Granted I wasn't expecting to win or anything, but for the other people who wrote experienced poems. I'm going to say it again. For the other people who wrote very well-written poems that could probably make it into a poetry book, is it really fair that they lose to a girl who told an unintelligible poem and only won because she was shy and didn't want to share it? Middle schools make a lot of sense, don't they? But this was a couple of years ago. Far beyond my poetry telling. Nico, me and Gracie is waiting for you just off the break. Looks like that's a fucking tragedy. That's the plan. <laughs> Maybe we're waiting. I would love to see how that goodbye party for Gracie would be running. It wouldn't be so long, farewell, goodbye, or anything like that. 
It said it would be, so long, farewell, I'll see you in hell. There we go. There we go. I'm on fire. Well, the taxi driver doesn't take me that far. Oh, there we are. Where are you, Packy? Where are you? Hey, Packy. There you go. Keep control of the... Yeah, the very pleasant woman. I bet if Gracie was a tomboy, she would just break out. Instead, she's our classic damsel in distress. We. That's right. He is definitely a bad influence on me. Careful. Okay. Ah, radio. I'm gonna break my D-pad, take turning off the radio every time. I only do it because, well. I don't want to get copyright infringement. I don't want to mute the video in order to avoid infringement. Just take note, anytime I receive copyright infringement on Grand Theft Auto videos, it's not because of Rockstar. In fact, Rockstar actually encourages people to post Grand Theft Auto videos. That's why they put the video editor in the PC version. And... It's from music companies for the songs that play in the radio. So I have to be very cautious about what plays on the radio because I can't hear what's playing on the radio due to the video editing software. Oh, Toll Booth! I never thought I'd pass one of these. I don't even remember the last time I went through a Toll Booth in this game. I just realized how slow taxis move. That's why they gave the skip the trip option. Oh, so we're just driving and driving. I miss saying that. Speaking of which, this area is where one of those missions in multiplayer you can do. You're supposed to drop off that guy you're supposed to rescue from the airport here. But you have to play the mission with people you trust. Because if you join an online game, they may end up taking that guy for a joyride across the city rather than dropping him off to safety. Oh yeah! Here we go. We get to see Luis for one last time. We saw Johnny for one last time much earlier. and Now we're going to see Luis for one last time. Hi, Gay Tony. Hi, Luis. Say hi to Nico. Let's see their negotiation. I love how it's always nighttime during this mission that I've ever seen. Give her back, you animals. She's an animal. What are you saying? Tell him, Packy. Alright, Nico has sense, yes. Luis, yes. That's a good thing, Luis. Just put it in the center. We just want the diamonds. 
Luis, put the diamonds in the center, and then Packy will hand you and Gay Tony Gracie. Capiche, Luis? Capiche, Gay Tony? That's it. Just put it on. Put it down. Good boy. Good boy. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. There we go. That's the magic of trade. If only they, they if only this was much simpler in the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> Alright, bye guy. Bye Luis. I'll see you in Gay Tony. This is the only other time we see Ray Bulgarin or Ray Bulgarin or whatever in the main storyline. He gets killed in Luis's story. Oh, Luis stole his diamonds. Oh no! Now I get to kill your men. <laughs> Packy's like panic. But anyway, no, when you, from Luis's point of view, Packy is like in the center of the whole thing, and then he goes behind here. You know what? Screw it. Screw it, and oh, now Packy's going in the center. Oh my god, I hope I did not just kill Packy. Oh! I hope he has that colossal health here. <laughs> Oh, now we have to follow him. Come on out! Good boy. Nice boy. Yes, yeah, stay close to Patrick McReary. Where's the last guy? There he is. Alright, we got him. You got it, my man. Good effing work. All right, sorry. Mr. Gotta click. Make sure nothing goes blank in this time of need. This is why I bought body armor, people. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Good boy. Just shut up and stay down, just like what Nico says. Oh, explosive barrel! <laughs> These things are so common in Tomb Raider. Lara Croft always makes them explode. In fact, even in Uncharted, they're common because Nathan Drake's always doing it. Wait, are these the cops? Follow Packy, follow Packy. It's just like the bag heist of the millennium. Oh yeah, just letting you know, uh... The diamonds end up in a trash compactor, and... The diamonds end up in a trash compactor, and... A homeless man ends up getting them, a bum. Hey, at least Karma ends up being a bitch in this game, you know? So, grenades! That's just what I'm doing. This is like Resident Evil almost. That car looks like you split in half! What'd I do? Look at it! <laughs> I managed to split a car in half. Just like in Willy Wonka where everything in his office was like cut in half. No survivors. No survivors, Packy. Packy. All right, I have to cover Packy. I see. Now will be the time for a sniper rifle. All right, I got one. Where's the last guy? Hurry before Packy gets killed. Keep close, Nico boy. I speaking of which I gotta go see Jimmy Boy after this. Maybe not tonight, but 
<sighs> this is the way to end on a high note. Hey, is it over? Already? After splitting a car in half? <laughs> Apparently. Is it Ray? Lights. Or is oh, it's the last guy. We'll let you go if you give him up. <laughs> uh, I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds. Oh, so he's going to drop the diamonds into the trash compactor. I don't know, buddy. <gasps> oh, no. Now they're in the trash truck. No, it's a trash it truck, not compactor. You selfish piece of shit. You selfish piece of shit. shit. You will die and you will like You are going to hell and you are going to like it. Well, at least the homeless man ends up getting him and becomes the richest man in Liberty City. No joke. You find you don't you don't see it in this game, but you see it in the credits of Gay Tony. And then Bul Bulgarin gets what's what's coming to him. Bulgar Bulgarin or how are you pronounce it? Ray Bulgarin. And he gets what's coming to him by Luis. Don't worry. Oh yeah, Johnny's story already ended at this point, so... Oh! Wow! I didn't know he could do that. Okay. We split the car in half. <laughs> we split... Alright, we gotta... find a ride for Packy. Ah, <sighs> well, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, it's not split in half anymore. Sad. Hey, this car's okay. Its windows are just busted, that's all. Okay. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it? And it turns into a blood bag. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. I hope so. No, they stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray... But yeah, mission accomplished. We kidnapped Barbie's evil twin. We had a hostage situation, and then we do a trade for, a, for Gracie for the diamonds with Luis and Gay Tony, but... It was all for nothing. It ended up in a trash truck, and now a homeless man's gonna get him. He's gonna get a mansion. He's gonna get a bunch of ladies. I can't get a lady in real life. I'm pretty sure you can guess why. <laughs> I'm probably the worst man who ever lived on YouTube. I am. I'm the worst Let's Player ever. I, I want to confess that. That's what I think of myself. No. That's the point. Everybody has to think of themselves as the worst man ever. The best man ever thinks of himself as the worst man ever. That's what it is. But I'm not the best man. I'm not the worst man. There's people who are better than me and people who are worse than me. Or no ranting about me. What about the game? That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Home Beach. Oh yeah. I know I'm better than Uwe Ball and Michael Bay. Nobody can be worse than them, right? But, yeah. Or maybe Irate Gamer. No way can be worse than him. But I think I do fine. I get more likes than dislikes. That's a good thing. Oh yeah, to end this video I should pay Mr. Burger a vi visit. But first things first, drop Packy at home. To end this fine quest to get the diamonds and or only to lose them forever. I wonder if Packy's gonna appear in Grand Theft Auto 5 because in the credits of the gay Tony he's shown getting on a plane and leaving. It is the story of a lot of lives, Packy. I'm getting used to hearing it. Is Packy telling me to stay out of his life? I gotta go break the news to Gerald. Oh wow, this blood on him. 
You know what? I'm still fucking scared. Yeah, it looks like Packy's actually scared of Jerry. You have to break the news that he couldn't get the diamonds for Jerry. I feel bad for both Nico and Packy. They couldn't get the diamonds. I even feel bad for for feel bad for Gay Tony and Luis. They had to give up the diamonds for an hey, annoying hey, bitch. I got some bad news for you. We weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgar that claims ownership as well. Damn it, they can cut the bullshit. Liberty City dump. The Liberty City dump. Good choice, Nico. Alright, run this guy over. Ooh, wow. What? <laughs> I I run over his thing and then he just simply sidesteps out of the way and escapes, but not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. You're dead. Alright. How many missions are there left? We passed 77 min- Oh! Less than I think. Maybe I should do one more video. Yeah! One more! Where's my favorite man? Oh, there he is. He was camouflaging himself. I would beat him up, but that's a little too cliche. I know I'm going to get arrested for this, but I really do not care. There we go. How can he still run? How can he still run? There we go. That's it. Limp. Limp. Okay. Well, I beat him up. He's dead. Now all we gotta do is lose the cops. And then, I think I'm gonna do another video. I need to beat Grand Theft Auto 4 before my vacation's over. No, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna escape the cops and I'm gonna film another video. Alright, I'll see you once I get away from them.